Alright, hey everyone, it's Kit Nicole back with a back to school shopping haul, yay! <laughs> um, so it's like over the past week-ish, I would say I've been doing like a little bit of shopping here and there, um, mostly after kickboxing because the stores are close by and I'm finding that's getting a little dangerous. Um, yeah, so, uh, what's, Walmart staples are starting their back to school sales, um, Walmart actually really started getting into things this week. I thought staples would be too, I'm guessing, next week. They've got some deals going on, but not their whole shebang, like, I've seen another year, so, thinking next week. But anyways, so as you can see, I picked stuff up. I didn't unload all my bags because I don't really need to. <laughs> it's multiples of the same things, but um, hopefully this will help give some ideas or just make you aware of the sales that are going on. But we'll get right into it. Um, so first, we'll start with the Walmart stuff. And... Well, what can I say? Uh, picked up some pens. Uh, these packs, like blue, black, red, they were 88 cents each. Uh, let's see, the scissors. Oh, here we go. The mapped kids' scissors are also 88 cents, along with. Uh, the 24 packs of Crayola crayons. Next to those are the colorful paper meat uh, pens. These were 97 cents along with the uh, two packs of glue. I was going to wait to see a little bit more into the back to school sales to pick up glue, but then it just kind of like I'm here now, I might as well pick it up. 97 cents isn't that bad. And also picked up from Walmart the 24 pack of Crayola pencil crowns. These also come with the bonus sharpener. And it looks to be actually decent quality, I would say, for the plastic. And these were $2.44. Uh, one thing I will note is um, when I went into Walmart the week before, I noticed that, oh, they have their 100 packs of, like, wax crayons and 100 pack of, like, markers on sale for, like, I think 11-something. And I grabbed them, put them in my basket, and I'm like, wait a second. Let's just, like, wait another week for this other sales to start going. And it's, it's a strange thing, these sales, because... Those packs were like eleven dollars, like I think right there, price sixteen. And then looking at things like the um, pencil or the wax crayons, and even these um, uh, pencil crayons, and I have next the markers. Uh, buying them in a lower quantity pack was a lot cheaper. Kind of doesn't make sense. Like, I bought... Actually, I bought six packs of the crayons. And, what, well, it came out to be just over $5. And I, that's like, um, well, what's it? 140 My math's off. I think, like, around 150-ish crayons altogether. I'm like... That's a much better deal than buying the 100 pack, but it goes to whatever your needs. Again, 100 packs would be better for schools. It's like it's all there. It's really interesting shopping as I'm learning, but I'm glad and I'm thankful for the sales and I was able to get what I can get. So, moving on. Um, and I guess the way I'm going about all these stores is like kind of in a reverse order of how I went about the shopping, but. Uh, at Staples, I went there first, and 
again, I wasn't impressed with their back to school sales just yet, so only picked up the 24 pack of the super tick super tip markers and I like these because they're thinner so they might be easier to slide into the little extra spaces in a shoebox and these were like $2.49 a pack and what's great it says right on the thing it comes with two black markers because we know those are valuable Now, um, right before that, I went to their clearance section and found this pack of like bingo chips that were clearance at 247. It does say it was 297, but when the cashier scanned, it was like I think 428. Not a big deal. It actually makes me feel better about the clearance price. But yeah, there's 200 in here, and I think I'll save it for maybe like some printable board games. Um, they'll have to be non-dice board games because we can't send those in Canada. But if anything, basics, tic-tac-toe. And yeah, if anyone has any suggestions on what the bingo chips could be used for, I will gladly accept it or look into it. So yeah, leave a comment below what do you think the bingo chips could be used for. Also on the clearance rack, I was so happy about this, is this little uh, Crayola craft set. And what it is, is you are actually making paper flowers to put on a, on a wreath and a banner with whatever writing that you want. And yeah, and I'm actually really happy about this because it includes uh, dual sided markers compared to another craft set I picked up where it included paint tubes of paint so I have to take it out and replace it with something else. I found my replacement though so I am happy. And yeah, I'm um, not going to include it in a box this year uh, but for next year I, I think this will actually be great for like a 10 to 14 year old girl box. Just something to make and beautify her space. Yes, this was $7.97 at the Staples that I was at. Now, going back a day, right, because this was Wednesday, Tuesday, I had uh, just went over to my Bupcha's at on the other side of the city and spent the day with her. And this is like not too far from a mall. I went there after to say like, uh, look for something for myself and stop at the Walmart there. Uh, see what they've got because I know my Walmart turnover with product is like pretty quick. Um, so just want to see what they had. And they do have like some of their clearance toys. I didn't pick any up because it's just like I don't, I think I'm good on toys for next year. And I'm definitely good for this year. And again, it's like in Canada, when things go in clearance, they're not as like sweet of a deal as you can get in the States. So it's just, mm, oh well. Uh, what I did find though were these Matchbox cars. And they were 87 cents a piece. And I was, yeah, picked up the ones that I liked. And he even showed it to my dad, and he's like, Oh man, when I was a kid, those are like the things to have. Matchbox. I'm like, Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Um, yes. My apologies for the glare. But it's like, Yeah, these are kind of like some of the more older style vintage cars. Plus a street cleaner, because why not? It's fun. So again, these are 87 cents. And the thing I was so happy to find were these watercolor paint sets. You don't know how happy I was to find them. They have been so hard for me to find this year. I found one a giant tiger that was on clearance, and that was it. That was like back in the winter. So I thought back to school to see a little bit more. Um, I've seen 
bigger packs, which are great, but considering how overstuffed my boxes already are, I needed something small. So I just, on my way out, just walked down their little art and crafts aisle and I found them. I found them. There were six. I decided to be nice and leave one behind. So I picked up five and these were a dollar seven a piece. So that even beats the dollar, like dollar tree and dollar rama here. So really happy. Comes with one paintbrush. I think about eight colors and for the one craft set where I have to replace the paints. Yeah, this is definitely going in one. And I think, oh, we'll see what I can, how many boxes I can fit them in. I know one five to nine box, I definitely have to put one in. Uh, we'll see about the others, but I'm happy. I'm so happy. Such an answer to prayer. One thing though, I regret not picking up because I thought it was going to be at my Walmart and my back to school big shop was going to be uh, the next day, which was these. Um, there was a four pack of erasers, like two larger, two smaller, kind of like bonus ones for 88 cents. I did not see it at my Walmart. I should have picked it up at the Walmart by my Bupchas. So, um, I'm definitely going to try to make a swing back that way just to pick them up. Um, I'm actually, I think I'm pretty good on erasers this year, but add it to the stash next year. Cause yeah. And um, I was talking to uh, Sunshine a few evenings ago and he was mentioning that, yeah, he remembers those like those white um, kind of block erasers. Um, those are, well, when he was a kid, uh, those were actually kind of like one of the requirements when you're going to exam. You needed a white block eraser and you're like, oh, so that, you know what? It's like sometimes going with the plain stuff is surprising how helpful that can actually be. And we're talking about it. Uh, I might get him to come on and do a video or if he's too shy, he'll give me like his list of suggestions. Uh, what to pick up for shoe boxes, but yeah, that was really interesting. White block erasers. Um, it's like in the Caribbean, those were needed for exams. At least that was what he remembers. That was 15 years ago. Could be different now. Hard to say, but some food for thought. I will come back and confirm in another video. But on that same subject. <laughs> when we were chatting last weekend, he asked me about uh, math sets. And I was like, yeah, I've actually got um, one math set that I want to include. Um, but it again, it depends on space. So um, the reason why he brought it up be is because he actually kind of remembers as a kid that, yeah, for the older age group, uh, the 10 to 14, though, like, for where he was, it could start around 8 years old. Math sets were really important for school. And in particular, uh, you did say you could get any kind of math set, but in the Caribbean, uh, these Oxford Helix ones were prime. These were, like, these sets that you want to have. So, um, while we were FaceTiming, he's like going on Amazon and he's like, okay, yeah, so these will be at your house on like Tuesday. And I'm like, thanks. Um, I will post a link on Amazon um, in the description below. Uh, I will note, did see them at Walmart. Uh, they're like $3.97 on, at Walmart and uh, what he found on Amazon, so same price. I kind of teased him and sent a picture like, oh, look what I found. He's like, ah, but I didn't pay tax on it. And just like, right, smart. 
don't know, our tax things are weird when you order online and when you buy in store. It's strange. So sent me four for the uh, 10 to 14 boxes that I am doing uh, this year and hopefully I can make them fit. Uh, and it's nice because it's in a, a nice tin and you can't go wrong with a tin. And lastly, going back to Monday. Well, actually over the weekend, my dad had said he had gone to Home Depot and saw some flashlights. It was like a pack of 10 for 10. And so I went in and yeah, picked up two packs because you know what, that's a, actually a pretty good deal. Um, these do require batteries upside the packs already come with 30, so each bat each flashlight requires three. Comes with 30, you just have to get another pack. Or, yeah, a few more packs just to include extras. And yeah, these are kind of like the nice, hearty, durable aluminum ones. Last for up to four hours shine time straight. So, I thought these were good. Um, I will try to like stick with like the solar powered ones, but if those like those are five dollars a piece, these are a little bit more budget friendly and bulk wise. So you do you. Um, just thought these were pretty cool and colorful. Alright, so I hope this gave you guys some inspiration or tipped you off a little bit on what to shop. In particular here in Canada, I know stuff can be different in the States, the UK, Australia, but um, I will say thanks for watching, happy shoeboxing, and you know, like, comment, subscribe, all that jazz and whatnot, so yeah. Have yourselves a good day guys and I will come back soon in the next week or so with another video. Bye!